Blaine's house. I'm gonna find this truck. We've got got active warrants on Billy for felony battery, domestic violence. So. The truck he left on the other day is back at the residence. We're just gonna hang out until the other unit gets here, so we can cover the front and the back, and uh, see if we can get some contact at the door. I was having masturbating on in the middle of it. I'm I'm sorry. I was masturbating. That's what I was uh, doing. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I'm kind of a little pissed off, but well, I can't unhear that. I just want to know where Billy's at. Huh? I just want to know where Billy's at. I don't know where Billy had. Okay. I haven't seen him. Okay. Apparently, from what she said, she was uh, watching a porno and masturbating when we got there. Apparently, we interrupted her. We're going out. We're going to dead end here in a sec. She's going off road here into. She just. I think we're going to bail here. You're going to scare your dog. Knock it off. See, now you got, you got the other dog all, all, all riled up. <laughs> got the other dog up. Let's go. All right. We're going. We're going. We're going to land that flashy car there. I feel like I'm going to vomit. Well, don't vomit because well, that's not my car. Go ahead. Give me the location. Nice right there. It's a 77-year-old male, apparently. He's upstairs in his apartment. All right. All right. I surrender. <laughs> you ain't got no choice. Just what are you looking for? Just making sure you don't have any other weapons on you, sir. What kind of weapon am I supposed to have? I don't know, sir. Well, did you find any weapons? No, sir, I sure didn't. Well, better luck next time. We found one outside, though. Huh? We found one outside. What kind of weapon are you? I don't know how it got there. Don't ask me. Okay, why'd you go there with a the knife? To defend myself. Well, you can't do that, Jim. Okay. Oh, goody two shoes for you. Okay. All right, Jim. We need you to stand up, okay? How can I stand up? We'll help you. We're going to help you, Jim. We what do I look like? A helicopter somewhere that can hover in midair? <laughs> Have you used any narcotics tonight? Yeah. What'd you use? LSD, PCP, heroin, cocaine. What else you want to know? Do you use narcotics? What is a narcotic? Dope. Yeah. What, what kind do you use? What kind do you use, Michael? Uh, cocaine. Cocaine? 24 driver just bailed on me. Copy, Lincoln. on. I don't know. He's around here someplace. He just hit the fence. Uh, Were you sure they had a poop? Yeah, I went to the school. Bald guy? That's him. <laughs> I thought I'd check it. <laughs> Ran it right out of him. Yeah. I wasn't running from nobody. Mm. I was on my way home. Where do you live at? I'm homeless. The plate came back not valid for highway use, which basically means the truck is unregistered. I noticed he was moving around a lot in there, um, which we call furtive motion. What are you doing over there? Nah, I'm cruising. You're cruising? Yes. How much had to drink? How many quantos cervezas? But only one, two. Only one, yes, two? two. Well, he's got a strong odor of alcohol in his breath. So I'll have him do a portable breath test to see where he's at. All right. Yes. It's no bueno. When I walked up, it looked like he was hiding something. It's possible he was just trying to grab his pants the way he's dressed. I mean, it's a little chilly to be wearing Daisy Dukes. He's got some kind of like lube or something on that cloth. So I think when we saw him at the stop sign, uh, I, 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 if I'm a betting man, I am sure he's probably masturbating, looking for love in all the wrong places. Do you have your registration and insurance with you? Registration's here. I don't have insurance. Would you be willing to come back to my vehicle so I get some information from you since you don't have a license with you? Hey, Catherine. I guess there's no stopping her now. <laughs> yeah, she got peed. Hey, Catherine, I'm showing a full extradition warrant out of Colorado for parole violation and dangerous drugs. That's disgusting. What's up with that? Can you believe an adult woman would even do that? We'll talk to her about it. So what were you thinking when you used the bathroom right in front of the vehicle? I had to. I tell you, I've been sick. 
Why didn't you go off the side of the road? I had, couldn't hold it anywhere. I had to go. He doesn't have a valid license. She has a warrant. So at this point, I'm, I'm just going to impound the vehicle. We're going to take this female in custody and transport her to the Emory County Jail, clear up her warrants. So, um, you know, an interesting stop. Sometimes they can't control themselves, and, and, and I think it's just fear induced. Ooh. What the? Oh! I would say that's a violation of some kind. I was thinking about buying it. I don't think you ought to buy it, man. It's a piece no. of junk. Is it, is it smoking too bad? Yeah, I couldn't even see. I couldn't even breathe. Really? Yeah. I thought I was going to die. My bad, sir. OK. <laughs> All right. You been drinking a little bit tonight? Yeah, I had Be one honest beer, with man. me, man. I had one beer, man. Hell. Because I can smell you from here. OK, I'll probably the sober one. Hell, I All just... right. <laughs> you all right, bud? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. You sure? Yeah, just a little bit. What happened there? You're just a little bit intoxicated? Yeah, I just... Did you up. piss on yourself? Yes, sir. Man. I can't step out of the car and do it to his yard. Well, yeah. Well, the other guy took a piss right as I was pulling him out of the... He was still steaming on his pants. I said, dude, did you just piss on... Yeah, I pissed on myself. You told me to get out of the car. Another fine automobile for you. <laughs> Ended up blowing a .128 and a .133, well over the .08 legal limit. From West Virginia? West by God, Virginia, to you, sir. You fuck with that. No, thanks. Yeah, you already did. I did? You already did. No, I done messed up, didn't I? I swing for my tits just for something, not nothing better than you did. OK. You by God remember that. Because you won't remember that. It's up here. I did it. All right. If I did, he deserved it. If you did, he deserved it. You did me. You mean, if I wanted to, these cuffs wouldn't stop me from taking everyone out of here with a country jitsu flip trick. What's that? Don't you worry about it. I ain't going to play that. Why are you arresting me? Driving while under the influence of alcohol. I'm not under the influence of alcohol. You do hammer. I've, I've been drinking water. How can you tell me that I have been drinking alcohol when I've been drinking water? Why do you smell like alcohol? You got it going. Uh, Come on, get out of the car! <laughs> Give me your hand! Give me your other hand! 2101 all units. Why are you sitting here in a car, passed out with a gun in your hand? The gun is mine. Okay. I'm not trying to bother nobody. Our driver didn't have a seat belt. You can see him fidgeting around the front seat. So you're telling me that's not your balls. I've searched thousands of people. There's a big difference in what you can feel as a foreign object and manhood, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed to say it, but it's a pad that holds that, that I'm leaking. I leak. It's a pad huh? down there. Oh, oh, it's a man. pad because oh, you're leakage, right? Oh, oh, so Lord, you're telling that's... me that's not yours? I had to try it, man. That's In this business, I think, uh... you hear a lot of things. I've never heard that one. I tell you, you almost had me fooled. I did. Yeah. I, I mean, you were pretty adamant that it wasn't yeah. It wasn't any drugs. It was a man pond because yeah. you leaked. Yeah, I'll try something, man. <laughs> Why do you have a condom in your door pocket? Sex last night. Well, did you have sex in the car? Yeah. And you just put it in your door pocket? I forgot about it. I can't unhear that. Just do me a favor. During this traffic stop, don't touch the condom, because I got to hand stuff back and forth, so I really don't want your swear, man. manly fluid on me, all right? He's all kinds of condoms in the center console. They're not used, but uh, looks like a stash. Man, you a player, man. You got condoms everywhere, buddy. You the ladies, man. It feels good, yeah. Sex. Yeah. Sex. What's happening? Uh, I was just talking to him, that's all. Well, there was a whole lot more than talking going on. He just got a little angry because I said if the other guy was here, Charlie, the guy that I've known for 20 years, he would give me a break on the price because it is my birthday. Now, is all this worth going to prison over? No, sir. Because more than likely, you're going to go back. You're going to be violated. Happy birthday. This officer right here. Yes, sir. Well, I asked her for her identification. She provided me initially with a bank slip. So, like, how long have you been a police officer or whatever? About three years. Nice. I worked at Boston Market for three years. 
Nice. Yeah, no, like rotisserie chicken. I'm sure those were comparable experiences. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Don't swallow it. A bag? No, it's not just a baggie. It's got powder in it. Look at that. You think you just bought a baggie? It's got powder in it. I didn't buy that. You did? Oh, you didn't? No. Just jumped in your mouth and you're driving down the street? Yeah. Wasn't doing nothing wrong. What do you mean you weren't doing anything wrong? You had cocaine in your mouth. It was given to me. I wasn't just going to throw it out on the street. Why? Chew it up. Because there's kids around, man. Oh, okay. So you know what I mean? Okay. At least you're concerned about the kids. Bye. We're headed to a domestic violence call. It sounds like uh, an assault occurred and the suspect uh, ran out the back. Show me your hands now. My light's back there if you could grab it. And the reason that she was pissed off is because she looked at my phone and she found a little bit of porn. She said, well, that'll I, looked, do it, right? I looked up a site. That'll do it. What'd she say? So he was taking, or he asked her to take a, or to set the alarm on his phone. So she went to go set the alarm for him, opened up the phone, saw a bunch of porn on there or something. So she went up, confronted him, held out, asked, what's this? And he went to go grab onto her, grab onto the phone. They started kind of grabbing back and forth at each other. At some point, he ended up hitting her in the head. Porn and booze, right? That'll do it to you. North Central Spokane, we're going to head there now. Apparently, there's a male and a female outside on a lawn, and they are having sex. Uh oh. Are we getting, is that the cops? It might be the cops. Why don't you uh, go ahead and pull your pants up? Where are your pants? Wow, really? <laughs> What's wrong? Really? Let me right here. Yeah, why don't you put your pants on there, partner? What? I'm a little bit confused. You and me both. Put, put that shirt on. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are outside. And you're having sex, obviously. No, we weren't having sex. We thought this was... Really? No. Okay, so you tell me what you were doing then. Well, we were um, cuddling. Making out a little bit. Yeah, and making out. Without clothes on. Well, no, I had... <laughs> yeah, you didn't have clothes on. 965, check a plate. Possibly a rolling. It's a stolen. Exit the vehicle, keep your hands up. Put your hands as high as you can, sidestep to your left very slowly. So, uh, whose car is that? I don't know. Actually, um, yes, I bought it from two, two, three, day, three days ago. Three days ago? Yeah. The owner just reported the car stolen and said it was stolen within the hour. And you're telling me that you bought this car three days ago. The car was stolen an hour ago, buddy. And you're in it, and I found you in it. The three days ago, the owner had the car three days ago. He had it two days ago. He had it two hours ago. So I know you didn't have it. Yeah, and uh, you know, uh, this is the first damn car that I ever took, and you know, like that. I didn't know I was. So this is the first car you stole? Yeah. You just turned the corner here. There they go. Get on the ground! Get on the ground, we'll tase you! Get on the ground, we'll tase you! Get on the ground! What'd you throw over there? What am I gonna find? It's right here. Should be right in here. What was it? My keys. Looks like a high point firearms, 45 caliber. He's got one in the chamber. That's not mine. Raphael, I was right behind you and watched you toss it. I went right over and picked it up. That's not mine, sir. Okay. You're caught. You know it and I know it. The difference here is whether or not you're going to man up. We was over by Northside by KFC. Uh -huh. I was talking to my dude. Dude was walking down the street. He asked, did I need a gun? Any, do I know anybody want to buy a gun? Oh, so you weren't particularly in the market for a gun. You just happened to run into him. Right. Ah. Uh, so you feel I like it was probably sold it and made more money off of it. Was that what you were going to do? Try to I sell it know. and turn it for a profit? All right. Thanks, man. We've got an armed, suspicious vehicle. Unknown circumstances are what's happening right now. We've got one shotgun up against the tree here. Listen up. Why were you out here with a shotgun? Self-defense. Self-defense of what? I saw a colored fella. Okay. Okay. And he was digging in the back of the truck. And I said, hey, what's going on? I don't know you. In a nutshell, you saw someone up there working on a truck. 
You thought it might have been your neighbors, and you decided to come up and confront him with a loaded like, shotgun? He wasn't working on the truck. Okay. He was going through a toolbox in the back of the truck. That was actually his truck that he was working on. Okay. There's a minivan up here. It's uh, driving through the parking lot with its lights off. Why are you sweating so bad? Get out of the car. Ah, uh, uh, hold on, hold on. All right, but I ain't do nothing. Oh, you did something. He don't have a driver's license. He's cruising the parking lot. It's blacked out. He can't tell me where he lives. Some guy named Juan gave him this vehicle, but that's all he knows. He was probably going to do a robbery. He's got priors for robbery. Oh, you a stripper on the side, or is that what your main occupation? This is why he's trying to jump out of the vehicle on me. You know what? He might have actually done a robbery already. The guy, victim was in a wheelchair. They picked him up in the vehicle, told him to drive to an ATM. Uh, he gave him the pin. They kicked him out of the car with his wheelchair on the side of the street. What's up with the guns? Protect. Protect. Whose is it? They ain't mine. Guns don't have feet. Not yet. No, they can't just crawl in your glove box, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, that's, that, that's, that's, that's real. That's real. You can the phone? Who, who, who does not have a convict? Who is not a convicted felon? Most people. 2014, man. Most people. You Most people me? are not convicted felons. But that ain't mine, like I said. Trying to walk away. Let's talk to him real quick. Oh! Mm -hmm. Go on, snap, son. You have the right to remain silent. Okay. Oh, is this yours? That's not mine. That money is mine. Money is yours, but this ain't yours. No, that's not mine. You have no idea. He said he picked up the wrong cup. He picked up the wrong cup, sir. I got a little bit of weed. So you all going to jail, but just, just hang tight. We're going to talk about that in a second, okay? You're getting charged with the possession of marijuana, all right? Do me a favor, step in front of the car real quick while I check your information, okay? Right. Get on the ground. What happened? That was about as not smooth as it gets. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Could you have been more obvious, my man? I Come on now. I've been in the game too long. I didn't do nothing. You didn't do nothing? That was about as not smooth as it gets. You didn't throw it quite far enough, boss. This fine gentleman here likes to uh, insult my intelligence. Oh, look, it's exactly what I thought it would be. That ain't mine. You, you right in front of me, man. You go from the back pocket, you think about it, and then, I see, woo! I seen you come up by the gas. I should have threw it, man. Now we're headed to a uh, snap building here adjacent to the church on a possible burglary. There's supposed to be somebody inside. Hey, you're being pretty stupid. Push the stuff out where we can see you. You got up there so you can get out. She's obviously a heroin addict because here's the shrins. And she's already said she did five grams. You can see that's loaded. Did you learn anything from this? Yes. You guys are, man, we're nosy. We're nosy? Yeah. That's what you learned? We weren't doing nothing wrong. You didn't do anything wrong? No, wrong. Kicking in a window and going in the house isn't doing anything wrong? That lady told me, she said, if you feel like you need to be here, you come here. If I'm not here, you find a way in. I have one more question. Yes, ma'am? It's dry. It's dry. Hey, listen, Sean. Listen, listen to me. Okay? What? You said you wanted a breath test. Yeah, go ahead. Give okay. me a breath test. Okay, I'm not going to give you a breath test. I'm going to give you a breath test. Fight me one-on-one. -on -one, I you. I'm fighting. Sit down. One-on-one -on -one right now, bitch. Take your picture. Of okay, take your picture. Take some photos. I hope you guys all... Die in a car wreck. Yeah. Chasing someone, bitches. Hey, hey, we got an overnighter, dog. Yeah. This is one of our problem areas. We're just gonna check him out, see who he is, and what he's up to. He's driving a drunk man home, sir. Which one? That one. Who's he? Nemo. Nemo? Like the fish? How much you had to drink? I've been drinking for quite a while, yes, sir. You've been drinking for quite a while, huh? You're under arrest, and you're going to be going to jail for possession of marijuana. We'll weigh it up. If it's over 20 grams. You're going to be going to jail for felony possession of marijuana. You can argue with me until you're blue in the face, and you're not going to change my opinion, right? But right. it's not my opinion that matters. Y'all believe me, man. 
Uh, I can't let you sleep here, Nemo. Okay, you can't let me sleep here. No, we'll get you taken care of. Okay, pulled you over for an equipment violation, okay? But I can smell the odor of marijuana coming out of your vehicle, partner. So I'm gonna detain you right now, okay? It's fresh, it looks like it's just been taken off the plant. There's a name on the top of the this mason jar. It says Skywalker, S-K-Y-W-A-L-K-A. -A. Could be this guy's online name or the name for his, his marijuana that he sells. Really just don't know. Partner, you're under arrest for possession of marijuana. Enough to put you behind bars it's for quite a long time. That's a whole lot more than just a usable amount. No, sir, that is that is my, that is all personal, sir. He asked me to write him a ticket for it. Yeah, he asked me the same thing. Oh, okay. Well, I told him that one. At 27th and Broadway. I just saw this vehicle leaving a problem hotel, and he's failing to maintain single lane position. He swerved about seven times. I'm going to go ahead and pull him over. Okay. 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 So I just need to see your license and your insurance. Hey, let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Keep your hands where I can see them. Well, when I pulled him over, the passenger was looking for insurance, and I saw this in the glove box. So, so who do you think put that in there? I'm, I'm not sure. That's why I'm trying to find out. Who's right your now. friend up in the front seat? You know him very well. Yeah, yeah, he's a good friend of mine. What is my partner saying? He's not saying anything. He ain't saying nothing. Nope. He's not helping us out. When you as best you can. When you turn on the lights, he just took the gun out of his right pocket and put it in the thing. The, the guy that was sitting the in the department, yeah. The guy that was sitting right beside you on the passenger seat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your buddy over there, who you said is a good friend of yours, must not be too good a friend because it was his. Okay. So you're not going for the gun. This truck's parked in the uh, center of a drug-ridden neighborhood known for drugs, prostitution. I see a guy inside of it. I'm going to talk to him and see what he's all about. Yo, why'd you turn your car on? Get out of here. I thought you were going to say, get the hell out of here. No, I want to talk to you. Deal. Is there anything illegal in the car you're not supposed to have? No, no drugs, weapons, hand grenades, rocket launchers, bazookas? Do you have any objection to me checking? No. Okay, why don't you go and step out for me? What I'm locating is a uh, substance known as methamphetamine. That's a very large quantity. So you're a diabetic, you said, sir? Yeah. Okay. I mean, other people have put stuff in my pen. Really? You see this? What's this? Sure looks like meth, huh? It does, actually. Those are big chunks, too, aren't they? Where did all those come from? I don't know. No, I mean, seriously. Okay. I was just digging through my fanny pack to get money and stuff earlier. It just magically appeared, okay? So well, that doesn't make sense. It's amazing. Sir, it is not... That is not... That's not yours? Okay. Just go ahead and have a seat, okay? 